they got me unloaded fairly quickly here. There's a truck stop just outside of town. I'm gonna check in, see if there's anywhere to park there. actually surprised at how many parking spaces there were here but I'm here until about nine o'clock tonight uh, it'll give me two hours to get the 87 miles down to Winchester Kentucky to save a lot <clears throat> now I'm not sure exactly how it's gonna play out because the next pickup is up in Washington Courthouse at noon tomorrow this delivers at 11 o'clock tonight, so as long as they don't take a stupid amount of time, it's only three pallets, so it shouldn't take more than an hour or two to get unloaded, but you never know if places can have problems or whatever, but I mean, that would be unforeseen stuff, so.
saw the car go back. Because I didn't see it marked. No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, 5831. Nope. Did the guard shack tell you to come back? Yeah. I swear to God, there's more on down there. up to 71 rather than going up 62 for a couple reasons. One, 62 is Kentucky mountain driving. There's no reason to go that way. I, mean, I don't mind going that way, it's just I need fuel for one. I only have a quarter tank of fuel, so I need a fuel stop, and there's no fuel stops on that route. And two, it's only 20 miles further to go up to the interstate, and uh, it's actually faster. 20 miles further away and almost a half an hour faster. So that tells you what kind of roads those are going up 62. I got really lucky. There was one space I was just about to leave because I didn't think there was any spaces left. And there was one space here. So we'll sit here for the next seven and a half, eight hours. We'll pick up this thing in Washington Courthouse tomorrow at noon. Get a little ways further down the road after that. And then on to Frontenac, Kansas. From there. time to go again I was looking through my comments and I got a comment uh, Robert Flynn um, he asked if I'd ever thought about doing local stuff instead of being over the road he said he'd compliment me he said I had a good work ethic and I should have no problem getting a local job the problem is is with me because 
I can't make the math work in my head because a lot of local jobs you're really only going to get a day and a half or two days off especially in my area maybe in some other areas that's not the case because I've looked into a lot of them first of all they pay really low they pay by the hour and it's way less than I'd be making on the road so way way less and second of all the way I do things now you know I get yes it sounds like a long time but I'm pretty used to it my wife's used to it my kids are used to it I get four weeks out maybe five and I'll get four or five days off and then that four or five days off we can do whatever we want my kids are homeschooled partially because when I come home we want to be able to pick up and do whatever we want to do we basically get you know 10 or 12 mini vacations throughout the year me and then when I'm home I have plenty of time to do what I need to do that's one of the reasons I just switched from the two weeks out two days home because I just wasn't getting enough time at home it was like I was gone for two weeks and then I'd have two days off and it just I wasn't get, even able to get anything done so I appreciate the question Robert it's a it's something I've thought a lot about and me and my wife have discussed it a lot and it just doesn't make sense for us right now because we're trying to get all our debts paid off and, and maybe someday that will be an option for me is to do a local job and you know be home on weekends and home every night but at the moment it's just not it's just not what's good for us as a family so Not only is this account getting closed, they're not offering me a position here. My options are I can terminate this lease and bring back my truck and then fuck off. JCT has a, a, an account that I got to go start completely over.
I guess I gotta call JCT and see if they'll even, if they even let me have a pet. This sucks. By Friday, I'm gonna be at the house to empty my truck. And then I gotta take my truck to a terminal. They haven't decided which one yet. I gotta clean out my truck, take it to a terminal. You know, they, uh, when I was getting hired on, first of all, I was promised $10,000 sign on bonus. The way that worked out, I was, uh, $100 a week for the last year. And then at the end of the second year, I was supposed to get a $5,000 check. I may need to call that dump truck guy. He offered me a job the other day. $900 a week. I mean, he said $1,200 a week. Would that be a good way for me to keep bringing in some money until I could find a better option? Because um, I really don't want anything to do with Hirschbach at the moment. And they earn, they own JCT. And if this is how they operate, I don't want anything to do with them. I don't want to do business with them at all. They could have told me a week ago that they didn't have options for me. I could have been looking into, you know, put my name out there and so, you know, start fishing and see what was going to work out for me. Worst case scenario, I could call the company I worked for before, but I know they're not going to let me keep my dog because the only reason I had was allowed to keep my dog last time was because I was kind of grandfathered in and I'd, I'd have to start at the bottom of their pay scale again. I need to, I got all the contracts and stuff. I'm going to spend some time reading through that because I think I'm getting screwed pretty badly here. And I think it's pretty illegal what they're doing. I spent a year paying on this truck and it, the lease is just gone because they don't have any work for me. This is the end of my LLC for sure. I can't, I can't start over with that. That's not gonna work out. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this dog for a walk, clear my head. I just called that uh, dump truck guy. You know, he's saying he can work me pretty steadily. Uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 1200 or more a week. If I can't find anything better than that by next Monday, that's what I'm going to be doing for a couple weeks anyway. If I can figure out how often I'll be home and stuff. Are you saying the job he's on now? Uh, I mean, not get home every night, but the normal stuff that they do, they do out of Tulsa into Fort Smith, and I'll be home every night and off on weekends, which is funny because, you know, I had just mentioned 
that earlier in the video because that commenter, but I might end up being a local job running a dump truck for a while. So I've never done that. It'd be a learning curve, learning experience. Now, what I don't know is, uh, you know, first couple of days when he said he's probably going to put me in a truck with, you know, as uh, somebody else to train for a couple of days to make sure I can run the vehicle. And then before he cuts me loose on my own. But I'm basically just going to have to say goodbye to this LLC stuff unless I find a, another job. I don't know, it kind of feels like the way this worked out where I'm, I'm loading up my truck to go out on the road and this guy just happens to be in the truck stop parking lot and offers me a job. Find out three days later that I'm losing this company, I'm losing this job completely. You know, I'm not superstitious, <laughs> but I believe when a door is opened up in front of you, you should probably walk through it. So maybe that's what I need to do right now is just take him up on this offer and do this job. It's gonna change things up. I might have to take a short break from YouTube. You know, or, or at least you won't see me working, right? I'll be able to update you stuff like that until I get in my own truck and start running it and then I can put my camera up and start doing it more often. More stick like I am now. But that first couple of days, you know, I'm not gonna be having my phone out, uh, you know, messing around with any of that. But this way I can basically Monday morning, I can have another job lined up and just go do that for a while and not go broke. It is going to be a bit of a pay cut, but I don't think it's going to be a huge pay cut. I need to call my accountant because this is a 1099 job too. It's a contractor job. So. What I won't, I won't need any of that insurance and stuff because it's his equipment, but it might still help to have the, these guys do my taxes and stuff because I'll still be out on the road sometimes and I'll still be away from the house sometimes, but I need to call him and figure out if that's what's going to work. So when I break the news to my wife, I don't even, she doesn't even have to worry because I already got a job lined up. So. Well, if you're a truck driver out there, I'd say stay the hell away from Hirschbach because they have no problem screwing truck drivers. Just completely screwing us, man. Like I had a, I had a plan and a bit of a dream, but I'm not going to get upset about it because life is what it is. And sometimes things don't work out and I tried it. I was doing good. You know, if they did just kept their word and Everything would have worked out in another two years. I'd have owned this truck and I'd have been driving for myself, but it's just not the way life was going to work out for me at this point in my life. So I'll just uh, go haul a dump truck for a while. Like I said, I take a bit of a pay cut, but there's some things I can decrease because I won't need it as much. Like I won't need all the internet and stuff that I used to have because I won't be out on the road as much. I think he said the first couple of weeks we're going to end up staying in a hotel there in McAllister, Oklahoma. Because uh, they're, they're finishing up a job there. But uh, it kind of feels like uh, divine intervention almost. The guys just happen to be there when I'm loading up to get ready to go out on the road and he offers me a job. I mean, that's, that's a pretty unique situation. I need to ask him if I can take my boy with me. Because he's never known anything other than riding in a truck and he doesn't get along with my wife's dog at all. They try to kill each other. So he'd end up in a kennel 
outside after being two feet from me all all his life, which sucks. But I can't I can't make career decisions based on a dog. I have a family to worry about. So, man, I don't. Know, I got some phone calls to make, some decisions to make. 